Okay, everyone. So today we will discuss about uh, clock skew. So before we understand the clock skew, we should have a basic idea about the clock distribution network. So here we are not going to discuss about uh, clock distribution network in the detail, but that will be our a reference point. So you can see that uh, this is a basic diagram. It's a basic uh, clock distribution network. And uh, so PLL is here, and the output of the PLL is the CLK underscore S0, that clock. And then uh, this uh, clock is divided in CLK S1, CLK S2. So just as an input of this, these clock buffer, I just named as a CLK underscore S1 for more understanding purpose. And uh, this one is a replacement of the interconnect parasitic or the RC network, I would say. So in place of uh, drawing the resistance and capacitance and whether it's a uh, pi network or delta network, I just uh, draw uh, this section. It is a representation of uh, interconnect parasitics. And uh, you can see that uh, these are the clock buffers. And then again, uh, there is a chain of uh, buffers, interconnects. And finally, it is uh, connected with the different latches of the flip-flops. So it can be the latches of flip-flops. It depends. Uh, on your design whether your design has uh, the pure flip-flop based or it is a combination of the latches and at the input of uh, the flip-flops it is a CLK1, CLK2, CLK3 so these are the different uh, uh, different different clocks and again uh, I'm not talking about the challenges in this network so uh, in the sense uh, uh, we, are, we are not going to talk about the clock tree synthesis and what is the challenge, whether this is uh, the recommended network or not. Uh, this is for our reference purpose. So now, if you are thinking, so uh, maybe uh, we can think in that way, like we just created this clock network and uh, this clock uh, CLK S0 that is uh, uh, going through these two uh, uh, different paths and if you are thinking that the clock remain at as it is so the the clock pulse or the clock waveform which you have transferred from uh, uh, from this point the output of the PLL if you are thinking that that is going to be as it is the constant or uh, uh, there will be no change at the input of the flip-flops so then uh, we are making mistakes. So as the clock propagate, delay getting introduced in that because of the buffer delay or the interconnect delay. So these these buffers are there. So it is going to add the delay. Similarly, these interconnects these are uh, again going to add some delays. So as as this clock is going to propagate, so the these delay is getting uh, introduced. So it it is getting added uh, in uh, in the clock and the clock pass so basically uh, uh, I can say the two things like uh, there will be a time difference that between the starting of this clock and uh, the at the flip-flop uh, and the uh, destination point so I can say uh, like uh, two things like uh, time difference between the source clock source clock versus the destination clock so you can say that this clock versus any of the destination you just choose so there is a time difference between this and um, the source clock versus the destination one and there is another time difference uh, between the two destination to two clock destination so there is uh, a CLK1 and the CLK2 so there may be a difference between these two uh, destination clock one so the, the first one which I, uh, uh, I just mentioned the time difference between the CLK S0 and the CLK1 uh, that, that is a part of uh, our latency. So as I am saying that this is a pulse and uh, you will get all these things. So that, that delay will be there. So if it is your uh, CLK underscore S0. Uh, so let's take between this and uh, uh, between uh, CLK6. So you just take any example. So it can be the CLK5, CLK4, anything. So there will be a difference between these these two, and uh, that delay is getting uh, added by the buffers and the parasitics. 
So between the S0 and the CLKS, you can see that there is an interconnect delay, then the clock delay, and there is an interconnect delay. So this uh, delay is getting added by uh, the, the, these things. So that is a part of the latch. So we will uh, that is a part of uh, the clock latency and we will discuss that thing uh, later on the second one the time difference or uh, the time delay between the two destination to two clock destination but like uh, between CLK1 and the CLK4 or the CLK1 and the CLK2 so that is known as a clock skew so I think uh, now you uh, you got the bigger picture like there are the difference between the destination the clock destination so CLK1 and CLK2 CLK1 and CLK3 CLK1 and CLK5 CLK1 versus CLK7 so the difference between these destination point that is a clock skew so <clears throat> you may be thinking that why uh, there is a difference and I think from this uh, uh, network I was just trying to explain you that part so you can see like uh, the CLK underscore S0 so this is this is the one path and uh, in uh, in this path and if we will take this path versus CLK6 let us take the CLK1 and uh, then uh, we will take the CLK6 so between these two there is a difference and now difference is in terms of the type of buffer you are using so there may be the some characteristics difference between the this clock buffer and this, this clock buffer and uh, so that is going to add a uh, certain delay another difference is you can see like in this path there are two clock buffers but from uh, clock underscore s0 to clock uh, 6 there is only one clock buffer so obviously there is a one extra buffer is there so there will be a difference in the uh, in the clock arrival time between uh, CLK1 and CLK6 similarly the interconnect lens interconnect delay I would say so here you can see that this is the longest path so there is a no buffer here and I just uh, uh, try to try to represent that thing with the bigger size uh, of this thing so that this path will have the more interconnect delay in comparison to uh, this path so I'm not saying the the summation of this I'm saying that individual one that has a more here the next thing is maybe the environmental conditions like here there may be like uh, two uh, two wires are nearby and you can see like here there uh, there is some coupling cap but here uh, the coupling cap may be between these and the this this one so in the whole path there is a some coupling cap uh, or you can see the coupling effect will be there so obviously those those things is going to change in uh, our uh, parasitics the delay of the delay of the waveforms so all these uh, all these different scenarios different conditions are there different sources of the uh, 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 skew or the time delay between the clock one and the clock six so similarly between all other clocks are there so that is going to add some delay between the CLK1 and the CLK6 and this part this this difference so uh, the starting of this and the starting of this or you can say like 50% you know, of this or different this we will discuss that part later on but right now for your understanding what uh, just uh, uh, you can understand in this way that CLK1 the starting of this and the CLK6 starting of this so this is a clock skew now you may be thinking like in this in this diagram all the flip flops and latches are on the same level uh, I mean to say like uh, they are not interacting with each other so this latch is not interacting with this but latch but in our design usually that's a that's a scenario okay uh, so let's discuss that part uh, in the next session